Well guys, <laughs> old man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel and we're getting ready to go on our first trip on the Classic 350. Uh, it's going to be fun. I can't wait. Downtown Savannah and uh, we're going to go to a place called uh, Wormslow with an E and uh, it's an old plantation and some pretty areas. So that's what we're going to be checking out. So I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm uh, going to give you my first impressions and uh, it'll be kind of fun. Really upright stance is what I first notice here. This is going to be fun, guys. I haven't done a group ride like this in a long time. Hey, puppy pooping. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. I, I just love this engine, and it reminds me, obviously, of the Meteor. It is really similar and the same, if you will. So got a feel for how these guys are actually doing things. Tell you what, the thing's got a little pep. I mean, just like the Meteor, this thing, uh, this engine is the same. The seating stance is a lot different, uh, meaning the fact that it is more, uh, more upright. Uh, I could probably stand up on this bike. I don't think I'm going to because uh, I don't know if they would, might frown on that if you know what I mean. Such a pretty area. So what's my immediate thoughts? Well, I do like the seating position. It, uh, it's uh, not a cruiser, uh, but it is a good bike, I think, for everyday riding as well. As far, I mean, of course, I'm not gonna do a review. I'm just gonna tell you what my initial thoughts are. I like the stance, but man, uh, more than the stance, I like the look. I think this bike is beautiful. I think it's one of the best looking motorcycles, retro style, that's on the market today. It's a kind of fun bike, man. It really is. I, uh, I'm enjoying it. I love this engine. I really love the engine. She, I mean, I'm telling you what, the thing has acceleration. It really does. I know a lot of guys say, oh, it's a 350. Man, it does what you want it to do, and that's what's exciting about the bike. It does everything you ask it to do. You know, one of the things that uh, people ask me all the time, how come you don't do group rides? Well, I, uh, I'm not a very trusting person. <laughs> and I like to be in the back when I do do one. Do-do. Did I just say do-do? No! How y'all doing? You're on TV. <laughs> I love that. I think that's the most attractive thing about one of this motorcycle is the pop, 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 pop. Hey, I turned up my turn signal again. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm not sure exactly what the heck is going on with uh, me and turning my turn signal off. I must be getting used to these motorcycles. That's all I'll say. They are a pleasure to ride, I tell you. It, they really are. Guys, if you haven't tried the Royal Enfield brand, I know I sound like a commercial and I don't really want to be, but when I believe in something, I really do love to talk about it. And I believe in this engine. This format to me is, uh, it just fits everything that I like about motorcycling since I was a kid. And I mean, you know, I, I, you guys know I started at six years old on dirt bikes and then I started riding street bikes when I was uh, in my, uh, oop, we got stuck. Sorry, I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, we'll catch him. Oh yeah. Yeah, now you get to see what it do. That, shh, I was planning that. Here we go, guys. It does have good acceleration. Yeah, I, I love this bike. It's just smooth. Again, you all know I like to do that. Yeah, standing up. I, 
it's a little short in the handlebar height for me to stand up I can do it but it's a little short so uh, I would need higher bars I don't know if how easy it would be to put taller bars on it but you know there's disadvantages of being over six foot tall and uh, that's one of them I'll tell you guys though uh, as far as a beautiful bike that just does everything you want it to do that's what this bike does everything you want it to do And the handling is there, and uh, I, I, man, <laughs> I'm a broken record. But it is what it is. Easy to handle with one hand, because you all know I like to ride with one hand occasionally. <laughs> I just the, the power band is smooth all the way through it builds what a great bike Yeah, I'll put the visor down, get a little bit more quiet up here. And the highway, we're up to uh, 50 miles an hour. No tack, but I don't care. Good suspension. I purposely hit that hole. Oh, I guess we are turning over. I do like this motorcycle, man. I'm telling you. Here's 60. There's 65. Easy peasy, baby. That was fun. It'll do 60, 65 mile an hour. No issue. I'd like to see what it'll do with two up. I really would. Um, it looks like it could because the, uh, the photography uh, mic at the front is uh, is uh, running two up. And that had no problem. We were trying to keep, uh, keep up with them. So obviously it's going to run the way it's going to run. And it uh, does very well at highway speeds. Oh, we got stopped. <sighs> well, the first part of our trip is almost over. And uh, we're going to split this video up into uh, two segments. This is going to be part one of my first impressions. So, what do I think of the uh, Classic 350 so far? You're going to have to wait till the next episode. <laughs> See what I did there? Well guys, that's the end of the first part of our classic 350 first impressions videos and uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy the outcome. We're going to get uh, more and more as we do here on our trip to Savannah, Georgia for the classic 350 review. If you like the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Share and comment. You know I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Till next time guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels baby.